Ripley Ground, Sheffield Wednesday, whose only win was against Forrest in the corresponding fixture at Hillsborough last month. Stuart Pearce back to Captain Forrest after England and striker Gary Bannister on an extended trial after being freed by West Brom. He's Forrest's top scorer with three goals and a new forward look for Sheffield Wednesday with Chris Waddle, joined by Mark Bright, this week signing from Crystal Palace, and Paul Warhurst, who was switched from defence. Commentary here from Clive Tilsley. Palmer now has found Waddle. Wright has peeled away to his right. Warhurst and Palmer waiting in the middle with Waddle. That's Paul Warhurst, and he just got a foot on it, but couldn't direct it goalwards. Well, it's been a real gamble, this by Trevor Francis, playing a centre-half as a centre-forward. But within two minutes of making the gamble, Paul Warhurst almost made it pay from Mark Bright's cross. Gary Crosby. Nigel Clough once more. Away from Shirtlift. Pushed it past Anderson, shot by Bannister. Wood smartly down. But Gary Bannister has never lost his eye for goal. He's had some ups and downs in the last few years. But given an opportunity, and always hit the target. Kingsley Black. Got away from Hyde that time. Making up now with Stuart Pearce leading from the front. Nigel Clark and the free kick's been given. Right on the edge of the box. In other circumstances, Forrest might have preferred the advantage rule because Clough was in possession. But they're aware of what damage Pierce can do from this kind of range. Do you know uh, Stuart Pierce's free kick repertoire better than the England goalkeeper Chris Woods? It's Pierce. Oh, just struck the outside of the post. Woods just got away with it. Pierce so close to giving Forrest the lift they need. And it was the post which just came to Chris Woods' rescue. Black. Now Pierce. Black going outside of him. Pierce looking for the 1 2 with Bannister. Anderson got in the way, but it's still Pierce. Just beaten down by Woods and cleared gratefully by Shirtley. But Stuart Pierce is getting through to Chris Woods. Leading from the front at the time that Forrest most need leadership. And he saw the whites of Chris Woods' eyes that time. Waddle. Great change of direction there. Fed through to Paul Warhurst. He's got me on Laws. Sheffield Wednesday in front. And Trevor Francis' is gamble on Paul Warhurst pays spectacular dividends. 39 minutes played. And the England under 21 international centre half getting his first taste of life as a centre forward and feeding off Chris Waddle to put Sheffield Wednesday in front. Pierce here finding Crosby. Pierce has continued the run. And a chance for Kingsley Black, and somehow blocked by Nigel Worthington. And Kingsley Black, who may well be banned for Hills for next week. Well, that's no way to treat prospective employers, is it? Arts. Well, I'll have to watch it. Warhurst is so quick, he's got Bright in support, and he took a terrific save from Mark Crossley. He denied Paul Warhurst the second goal. He's just so fleet of foot. Hyde is in from Bright's touch. Graham Hyde, 2 0. Little Man's first goal in league football has given Sheffield Wednesday clear breathing space with 12 minutes of the second half gone. Nottingham Forest problems compounded. Graham Hyde, a very sharp finish from a very sharp angle. This is McKinnon. Onside, Gary Bannister. Now, what can Forrest make of this? He's got Gemley support. Maybe he needed him. Ball broke off Black. And it's an invitation for Piers to come forward. But he really needs one. Keeping an eye on it. He has got in the cross. Gemmel's there. So to Anderson. Clough. Anderson the buffer once more for Sheffield Wednesday. How ironic that such a poor.
cornerstone of the first great Brian Clough era here at the city ground. He'll be standing in the way of the rescue act here. Pierce with the cross, good header! And they've got one back through Gary Bannister. Just over three minutes remaining. And a searing cross from the left hand. 